One of the most commonly asked questions I get on a weekly basis is what supplements should I be taking? Not only that, but what supplements should I be taking if I want to lose weight? What supplements should I be taking if I want to maximize muscle gain? And even just yesterday, doing client check-ins, I had a client ask me, hey, I really want to maximize my muscle gain. What supplements should I be taking? Now, I hate to break it to you, but you do not, I repeat, you do not need supplements on your weight loss journey, your muscle building journey, or any fitness journey in general. What you need to do is focus on the main pillars of what creates a healthy and fit lifestyle. And then once you have those in place, then that is when you can start to look at supplements. But until then, supplements should not even be on your mind. And real quick, before I dive into the things that you should focus on and then what supplements you can or should be taking once you get there... What I want you to know is my name is Coach Tyler. I've been an online coach and personal trainer for the past six years. I've been on my own fitness journey for the past 11 years. So you could say I have quite a bit of experience of helping other people and myself, and 99% of which do not take any supplements, except one, but I'll get into that in just a minute here. So before you start even considering taking supplements, the most important things is to cover the main habits and essentials that you need to even tell your body to move in the right direction. So no matter if your goal is weight loss, muscle gain, body composition change, just feeling more energized, looking better in the mirror, feeling better in your own skin, looking better naked, whatever your goal may be, these are the pillars you need to pay attention to. Are you ready? Number one, do you work out and or lift weights consistently? You need to send a signal to your body to build muscle. I don't care what kind of journey you're on. If you are not focused on building muscle, you are not going to put yourself in a great place to sustain your results. So if you want sustainability, building muscle is the number one way to get there. So make sure you're lifting weights. If you're not lifting weights, don't take supplements. Got it? Cool. Let's move on to number two. Number two. Do you drink enough water daily? Now, this one might sound silly, and by the way, these are in no particular order. These are just the order I wrote them down in. But do you drink enough water every day? Everyone wants to tell you, drink a gallon of water a day. Really, you don't need to drink that much. I always like to tell people, drink at least half your body weight in ounces. But in an ideal world, yes, you should aim for at least a half gallon up to a gallon of water. Now, the reason I say this is because when you are drinking more water, you're less likely to consume food. And what this does is it helps you stay in a caloric deficit. So if your goal is weight loss, drinking more water is probably a good idea. Also, one lesser known fact about drinking a lot of water, you're going to get up to go pee more often, which by the way is going to help you get more steps on a daily basis, which is also one of the other points that I'll get to. Cool. Let's move on to number three. Number three is getting enough sleep. Well, what is enough sleep? Getting enough sleep is defined as at least seven hours every night. Ideally aim between seven and nine hours of sleep a night. Some people can get away with a little bit less. Some people need a little bit more. So when it comes to sleep, my general rule of thumb is to be in bed for at least eight hours. That way you're going to get seven hours. A lot of the times people don't realize, but it takes some time to fall asleep, to actually get in bed. So plan to be in bed for eight and typically you'll get at least seven. And if you can do more, that is fantastic. I guarantee it will help your results even more. By the way, I do have a full in-depth video on sleep, and if you want me to send it to you, comment below, or if you want the link to it, just shoot me a message on Instagram, message me the word sleep, and I'll send it over to you. The fourth habit that you need to have in place is getting enough steps on a daily basis. Now, ideally, we like to have all of our clients aim to get at least 7,000 steps on a daily basis. Now, I really would love to get everyone towards 10,000, but that's not always realistic for most people. So getting seven's a nice middle ground, in my opinion, and then slowly over time, working your way up is most ideal. So if you can't get at least 7,000 steps on top of the other three I already named, Again, you don't need supplements. Now for number five, this one's a little more tricky, but it's something that you just need to be conscious of, and that is your food choices. 
This doesn't mean you can't go out. This doesn't mean you can't eat out with your friends and family. This doesn't mean you can't have pizza and ice cream occasionally. This just means that you're mindful of the things you put in your body. I always like to remind people we have control over two things every day, and that is what you put in your body and how much you move your body. There's a lot of things that happen on a daily basis that we have zero control over. So if you can't control those two things that we have absolute control over, how much we move and what we put in our body, then you have no place in trying to take supplements. So again, these things need to be in line, need to be in order. You need to have control in good, consistent habits with these things if you want to take supplements or you want to enhance your results. But taking supplements without having these things in order is like putting a Band-Aid on a gaping wound that's gushing blood. Just putting a little Band-Aid. It's not going to do anything. These are the things that's going to hold it together. These are going to be the stitches and staples that hold that big wound together. And then the little piece of Band-Aid that you put on top, that's going to be the supplements. That little cherry on top. It's not going to be game changer. It's not going to be life changing to take supplements. They may add a little bit of an enhancement. They may add a little fine tuning, but it's not going to be the end all be all for the most amazing results. Like most people will tell you on social media, like, oh, I took this supplement and I felt and changed my body like never before absolute bullshit. I call 100% bullshit. They're just trying to make you use their codes, then collect their 10% commission from some bogus supplement company that doesn't really matter. If you couldn't tell already, I fell for a lot of this bullshit when I started my journey. This is something that I fell for. And the reason I'm telling you this with so much conviction and confidence is that I don't want you to make the same mistakes I did when I started my journey, relying and spending so much money on these silly BCAAs, the protein powders, and all of these silly things that really did nothing for me except waste my money. And I don't want you to do the same thing. And that's not even it. I have two more things that I need you to focus on before you can start taking supplements. The sixth one on the list is can you manage your stress levels? Can you manage the stress levels you have on a daily basis? Are you able to be mindful and relieve your stress in a healthy way without relying on supplements? And lastly, the most important one in my opinion is can you be consistent? Supplements will not make you be consistent. And if you are going to take supplements, you need to be consistent. So if you can't be consistent with the other things, you're probably not going to be consistent with the supplements. So it's probably not going to even matter that you spend the money on the supplements or even buy the supplements to take the supplements if you can't even be consistent. And by the way, I've been thinking about making a video on how to be consistent. So if you're interested in that, I would love if you dropped a like on this video and that would tell me that you want a video on how to be consistent. Because most people are like, oh, you need to be consistent. You need to be consistent. But they don't tell you actually how to be consistent. So if you want to learn how to be consistent, let me know by liking this because that will tell me that's exactly what you want. Now that we got the basics covered, now you know what needs to be in place before you take supplements. Now I can dive into the fun stuff. If you are going to take supplements, there is one supplement I think everyone should take, no matter what. If you're just starting and you are going to be consistent, the one supplement I think everyone should take that's the most highly studied supplement in the entire market that has the, the most amount of science and research backing the results that it gives you is creatine. Creatine is the one supplement that has zero negative side effects. There are a lot of people will say, oh, it can cause your hair to thin or it's going to make you bloated. Well, there is like a fraction of a fraction of a percent of people that could potentially have negative side effects, which is extremely unlikely. But if that is you, then obviously don't take creatine. But you don't know until you try. And ultimately what creatine does is it helps your muscles hold more water, more H2O, more hydrogen and oxygen in your muscle cells, which means that you are actually going to have more oxygen, which is going to help with your recovery, which is going to help with your muscle endurance. Um, ultimately, it's been a little while since I've looked over the actual studies, but there's like 
literally an 18 page paper I found on a conclusive study of all of the things that creatine can help with. So if you want me to share that with you again, just shoot me a message on Instagram. I love sharing this kind of stuff with people. Um, I maybe actually, you know, I'll throw a link to that in the description below, but moving forward from creatine, the only other supplements aside from creatine is protein powder. Now, protein powder is not something you should or want to take every single day, but it is something to have on deck that could be extremely helpful for those days where you are pretty good with everything nutritionally speaking, but at the end of the day, you're like, man, I just tracked on my food, I'm 20 grams short of my protein intake, that is the time to take a protein shake. It is not something you should take every single day into something that you should rely on in order to get your protein intake in. It's a supplement to supplement your nutrition, not something that is your nutrition. So use it like a supplement and take it when needed, not every day. Then on a completely different note, if for whatever reason you're doing all of these things, you're dialed in with everything from the nutrition perspective, the sleep, the stress, the hydration, you're doing everything right inside the gym and outside the gym, but you're still not seeing results. Well, there's probably two factors involved. Number one, you're probably eating more than you think you are, or there could be something else going on. And that could be really related to your micronutrient levels or your hormones. So one thing I suggest for clients that have been working with me for about six months and they've been really consistent, but yet they're still not seeing results, which is by the way, very rare, but usually this tells me something is off with either micronutrients or their hormones. And so in that case, I will highly suggest you go get a blood panel done with a professional, with a doctor. And most often what we'll see is that you're lacking some sort of nutrient. And one of those nutrients is what you should be supplementing with. So maybe for you, that could be vitamin D or maybe you have an iron deficiency. So these are some common things I've seen personally, but again, that is so individually based. And so what you'd want to do to optimize that end of things is to get blood work. But again, more often than not, doing all of these other things first will solve a lot of those issues, getting a lot of variety of different foods in your diet, having a variety of vegetables in your diet, have a variety of different fiber sources in your diet, a variety of movement and exercise to promote muscle gain in your lifestyle will promote the muscle gain you need to speed up your metabolism, to put yourself in a great place to sustain results. Those are the things that are going to move the mountains, the things that are going to move you forward and continue seeing progress on your journey without supplements. And this is going to be the two to 3% of extra results if you're doing those things. So like I said, if you don't do the other things first, supplements will do absolutely jack shit for your results. But if you have everything dialed in, you want to take things up a small level, see a little bit better results. Creatine's the one thing. Having supplement in your pantry just in case you need it. But aside from that, you do not, I repeat, you do not need supplements to see results. Now, I know I talked shit on influencers just a minute ago that share these supplement companies. And I will say I've done my homework. I do not like endorsing or promoting supplements. However, I have to be very transparent and honest. I did just partner with a supplement company very recently. It's the one company I've been using for the past six years because they're the one company I trust. They're the one company I truly believe has science and they use clinically effective doses in their supplements. They have third-party testing to make sure there's no fillers or no bullshit in any of their supplements. They actually have the highest quality supplements on the market. And this company is called Legion. So if you want to try some of their products, use code TNT for 20% off your first order. And if you don't want to buy from them, that's totally fine. I just wanted you to be aware that I do have a partnership with them. But again, I'm not here to push supplements because you don't need them. But if you are going to get them, make sure you spend the money on the good ones. What you don't want to do is be a cheap ass and buy the cheap supplement you can find on Amazon just to find out it has some sort of heavy metals or some some extra filler bullshit that you don't want inside your body. So if you're going to buy supplements, which you don't need, buy the good ones. Buy the quality supplements. 
that are going to make you feel good and digest well in your body, not the ones that are cheap on Amazon. I promise you it's going to save you if you're actually going to take supplements. So all that being said, I hope you got a ton of value out of today's video. I hope you learned the importance of supplements, which is not very much at all. Uh, but if you do have any other questions, please feel free to shoot me a message on Instagram or drop a question below. I get back to all my comments on my YouTube channel. So aside from that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have the best day of your entire life and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.